Hey guys, welcome back to Glamour Girls. Thank you for watching and in today's video we are going to create this look right here. And this was inspired by my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette. I did some reviewing and testing of some brands and I gave my honest opinion on the products that I've used. Don't forget guys, to subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell as well as like and share the video because the more people get to know about me the more we grow our family together another thing guys is that i know that i did not upload a video for the past two weeks and um maybe more than that but this was the look that i also did kind of inspired you guys something for halloween because i don't do halloween makeup and I don't do Halloween so I just thought you know what let's just switch it up with the green look but obviously in the video you will see that I chose three other colors that you can use with this eye look so if you guys want to keep on watching and you want to see how I achieved this look and my thoughts and reviews about the makeup revolution and freedom makeup brands then please keep on watching hey guys so let's start off with eyes i'm priming my lid with my pro artist concealer palette from freedom makeup Okay, so as you can see, I love Jay Sean. Now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution eyeshadow palette in Reload and I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and I'm going to pick up these two transition colors and I'm applying this all over my eyelid into the crease above the crease and just below the crease. So now I'm taking the two um, shades which is going to be the burgundy and this peachy shade and with a more tapered brush I'm applying those two colors into the crease of my eye and just above that. And then I'm taking a more precise blending brush and I'm picking up the two light greens in the palette and this is just going into my crease and on the outer V. Now as you can see as I am applying it I'm building up the color. So now I'm taking my more smudgy smoky brush and I'm just applying the darkest green in the crease and more onto the outer V to give it a more smoked out look. So what I did was I took my concealer and a flat detailed brush and I am just doing a semi cut crease on my eyelid. This is where my shimmer is going to be placed and my green shimmer eyeshadow. And you, when you're doing a cut crease, you need to take your time with it because um, sometimes one cut crease may look different from the other. So just take your time and achieve the look. So now I'm taking my Makeup Revolution Strobe Highlighter in Flash. Oh my god, this color is so beautiful. And I'm picking it up with a flat brush. But yes, I did wet my brush before dipping into this color. So I'm just applying this highlighter wherever I cut creased my eye or wherever I apply the concealer on my eyelid, that's where this highlighter will go. I mean, firstly, this highlighter is so pigmented and although it looks so white, but it has this beautiful green iridescent kind of color to it so it's like really pretty so guys i'm packing on that shadow and i'm not rubbing it on because i noticed that 
with the shadows and with the highlighter there was a bit of a fallout so that's why i decided to do my eye makeup first so going back in with that smoky smudge brush and the darkest green from the palette i am applying that on the outer v and then i went back in with the highlighter and i just softened up the um, sharp lines from the dark color eyeshadow on my eyelid so i'm basically blending those two colors together now don't worry if it's not perfect at first we can always go back in with more shadows and more colors and you can blend it out so as you can see now i took the green and i am just focusing that darkest green in the crease of my eye and more on the outer V. So I think this was the last part. I took a very precise pencil brush and the darkest green in the palette and I am putting this just above the crease and smoking it out a little bit. Then I quickly went back in with a bit of that highlighter and I'm just packing it on because sometimes it can get washed out. And here what I did was I took a wet wipe and I wiped out the excess shadows, the fallouts because I like my face to be clean when I'm applying my makeup. Now I do apologize my eye does look a little bit red it's because again i was filming really late so what i did here was i just went back in with that burgundy shade and i just blended all of the harsh lines out so to use the shimmer color in the revolution palette i had to use like a glitter glue or um some solution that would make the shadow pick up on the brush because i realized that it wasn't too intense without any solution to it so i had this little solution from wow cosmetics and i used that and then i noticed that the shadow did pick up really well and i just wet the brush and i picked it up and then now i'm applying it to my eyes so again with the foil foil shadows yeah it's more like a foil shadow you need to have like a solution to pick it up so i'm just packing that on and making it more sparkly and glitter so i'm just going back in and i'm blending everything out again you don't need it to be like 100 percent perfect as long as your eyeliner and your mascara and your eyelashes fall into place this look will just turn out perfect so i went in with my gel black eyeliner and i did make a wing eyeliner i didn't want to make the eyeliner too thick because i was using a very dramatic lashes the lashes that i put on was from mink lashes hey guys so i went off camera and i just applied my false eyelashes and i just perfected my eyeliner so now i am going to do my face because i am like quite happy the way my eyes look and let's get started so firstly i am going to prime my face with my bourgeois my bourgeois happy light base serum now this serum here is oh my hand is so dirty so as you can see i'll be trying out this massage um this cleansing wipes i know you get the liquid but i just picked up actually i didn't pick up i ordered uh some micellar cleansing wipes from avon okay so now with the clean hand i'm just gonna like do like a little bit and i am going to apply to my face now because the foundation 
is a bit on the creamy side. I decided to go with a mattifying primer because I mean like we in summer and spring so our um, makeup tends to get a bit more dewy and it starts to run and it gets all wavy so I would advise when priming your face you really want to prime it really nice and matte for summer so now that I primed my face up with my bourgeois primer I am going to um, take my firstly I just want to say I'm in love with this palette I got this Pro Artist Professional London uh, HD Pro Concealer Palette from Makeup Freedom oh sorry Freedom Makeup and I'm just loving it because the texture is like so creamy and buttery and it blends out really well I have already used my palette I've been testing out the colors for the past week and I have been loving it so far I love the way that it blends out really really well and not only that but with this palette right here I know that um, you just you can't just use it as a concealer you can also or shall I say you can use it as a concealer but you can also use it as a foundation you can use it as, as also like what I did was I primed my eyes before doing it and then also what I like to do is I like to mix colors together it's like the Graf Tobian palette uh, I think I'm pronouncing it right but I know that we don't get that here in South Africa so I decided to get this palette and I'm really loving it so far so what I'm gonna do is before I apply any of my foundation I want to color correct and I'm gonna color correct underneath my eyes and just around my lip area because that's where it's dark and I noticed that in this palette because I've got the Pro HD concealer kit in medium dark and I noticed that it came with this really really dark like salmon orange color and um, I was like you know what I'm gonna try it I didn't try it as yet but I did try other colors and I tried mixing it together it works really well I would say when you use this as a foundation it gives you like mm, I would say more natural to medium coverage depending on how much you put I know that if you really dig into the palette you're going to get like a lot and then you can mix it in the back of your hand or on your palette or you can use those little eyeshadow plastic sleeves so what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to take this orange color right here and I'm just going to pick up a, a little bit. Uh, what I'm doing is, I'm basically like color correcting just a little bit under my eye. And then on the side of my lip. I do apologize guys if I'm looking down. My mirror is down here and it's far away so. So I just applied a little bit and what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to um, blend this out with a beauty blender. So I'm just going to use this sharp pointy end. I'm going to grab my hand mirror and I'm just going to start to blend that product in. As you can see, when you start to blend, this product is so creamy that it just blends off really well. And as I said, y'all can see like after I blended it out, it, it looks more natural which is fine because this is correcting I mean like with correcting you want to be very sure when you're doing it so just blending that out and then around the lip area and it's gonna blend on the lot now I would go ahead and color correct all of these pimples and these pimples here yeah, but 
I'm like, I want to see how good the Makeup Revolution foundation worked. I did use it before I could um, do this video because I could not help myself. But so far, I am impressed with it. But I noticed that when I did use it um, some time back when I got it, I used a very um, oily primer. Like, I've used a a facial oil, a serum and then I used a primer and I noticed that it was too creamy and it was like so hot outside and my makeup was like really uh, thick on my face so I felt like it was a bit more on the creamy side but then when I noticed on Saturday when I went for a function I decided to give it a go again and this time that's when I decided to go in with the bourgeois primer. So for the foundation I am using the Makeup Revolution foundation stick in F12 when I went to pick my foundation shade first thing when you go into the stores and you pick your foundation you need to know that you are under a fluorescent light you are under artificial light so when you pick out your foundation you must make sure that you either do it like on the jawline on your neck or what I prefer doing is I like to put it like on my arm right here because sometimes um the arm color here and your face can be the same color but if you do it here on the back of your hand because this part is exposed to the sunlight uh, more often it can be darker so sometimes you might think you know what the foundation that you need might be a shade darker but and then when you get home and you uh try it on and it's a bit too dark for your face so that's why i when i went in i went in with a clean face as well and i like literally tried i think i tried f10 which was a bit too light f11 but it, it sort of worked out f12 and f13 f13 was a bit too dark for me and then i went back to f12 and f11 and then i realized you know what because i like my concealer to be lighter so i went with the shade darker so um i picked f12 because it's a bit it's a bit darker than my complexion but you know what it works so i am going to and as you can see i've already used this I'm going to um, just apply it in a down, like just make lines on my face. Down, around, yeah, down there, maybe here, and here. And I'm just gonna move my head back. And then I'm gonna bring it down on my neck. So under the eye, I'm not worried to really uh, put a lot on my face because my concealer as well. My concealer is like full coverage, so it does blend in. And I'm going to use a damp beauty blender. I find with a brush, it leaves like fine streaks, but uh, with the beauty blender, it goes on really flawless. So what I'm going to do is, this is a beauty blender that has been cut on one side so it's flat and the other side is puffy. So I'm just going to start to dab that in. I mean you've watched me so many times apply foundation. So I am dabbing it in and immediately, immediately after taking the beauty blender and putting it on my face and blending the foundation out you can see that the foundation is actually applying very good it's blending out really easy and very creamy i also love the way that it has a dewy finish because i know that i don't do my makeup like uh very dewy and glowy so this really works for me because it's like a natural glow so i'm just going to blend all that out and i'm trying not to use my hand mirror try to use the mirror that's there but i think i need to go in and use my hand mirror now as you can see this is one side of my face that is already i blended it out and as you can see like look at that coverage now on camera I'm looking at my viewfinder and it looks a bit too light. Uh, also bear in mind I am videotaping this like 12 o'clock at night. 
so it does look a bit light but in reality this is actually not as light as when I applied so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend all of that out also I noticed with this foundation that when I blending it out it doesn't dry where you apply it so again that's like a plus and then now moving on to concealer so again I picked up the makeup revolution concealer makeup revolution conceal conceal and define and I, I got it in the color C10 I mean like when I was looking online and I was going to purchase it online I felt like C10 was going to be a bit dark for me and I wanted to go for like C6 but thank god I did go into the stores and um, when I had a look at C6 compared to C to C10 C10 was much more darker than C6 so I'm glad that I went again and I purchased it instead of actually ordering it online so I know that a lot of people that have tried this out they said that it's like the um, Tarte Shape Tape if you don't know what the Tarte Shape Tape concealer looks like I'll leave a picture up here and um, they said like the applicator is the same okay yeah it, it does look the same it has like this big brush which has the dip inside which you can get a lot of product out of I like the fact that the handle like this entire applicator is short so it's not long um, so you can get really close into the corners and apply it um, the consistency is not too thin I know that with liquid uh, concealers uh, you have to apply a, about two or three times to get the coverage you're looking for but with this concealer here I noticed that you just need to apply a little bit and you got maximum coverage so we are going to again apply my concealer where I normally apply it and I am just doing a little bit today because my foundation is looking a bit light on camera so I'm gonna keep it as less as I can with my concealer and I'm gonna use the damp beauty blender for the puffy side and I'm just going to blend that concealer out now with the Tarte Shape Tape I've never tried it but I'm pretty sure that as you blend it out it will start drying same thing with this I don't think I was a bit too late so it's already drying so I'm just gonna try and work quick with it okay and as you can see again this is beautiful it blended out really well again it looks too light on camera I think my lights are making me look a bit washed out now I am going to contour and I'm gonna cream contour again with my I'm gonna cream contour with my pro HD concealer and I know that when I got it I could not seem to get a color that had more gray undertone in it because if you look at all the dark colors here in the palette it may look gray but it was actually not as gray as i hoped it would be but then i was like mixing and playing around with the colors and like jackie hello yes can i help you huh watch it watch it I've got a camera here so as we're saying um, with my freedom makeup pro palette concealer I mixed like as you can see by the palette sure if you can see that I mixed like these colors here right here and I mixed like this this color here with these colors and and I mixed also this color here with a later color and I just couldn't seem to get a gray um, tone contour. I used the 
I use the Pro Conceal Concealing LA Girl and my color day is Dark Coco, which has a gray undertone. I like more of my ponder to have that gray undertone instead of more of the orange undertone because I am more warm slash olive complexion. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this this last color right here, if y'all can't see that, this last color right here, and this color right here, it's in the second row, starting from your right, it's the, not the first, second, third, fourth, it's the fifth shade. I'm going to take that fifth shade in the second row and the last shade in the third row and I am going to mix those two colors up and I am going to contour, cream contour. What I'm doing is I'm just taking this color right here, just this one here and I'm just going to quickly go over those dots that we did because I feel like I want my contour to be a bit more darker and with that same color, taking the brush, I dipped it in and I am going to apply some nose contour. Normally I don't contour my nose a lot because I am happy with my nose, the shape of my nose. Do a little here. So I've used the Beauty Blender to blend out this contour shades and they blended out perfectly but what i want to do is in the in this video i want to use my switch beauty um g31 contour brush and i want to see how it blends out with the brush i've seen other videos where they use the brush to blend it out and it worked so perfect so i'm gonna try that and let's hope for the best so Whoa, you ain't feeling me now. So, okay, guys, so I just went off camera quickly to blend out this, um, this concealer contour a bit more and. For setting everything, I'm going to go in with my Yardley Absolute Translucent. My line, you guys already know. I like to do my face like a puff of puff of fish. And I'm just going to blend out the smile lines. So again, dip my powder in. But I like to go with a bit more powder. Around the mod area. Because I do crease a lot there. I'm just going to apply some right here. My jaw lines. And then whatever's left on the brush on my forehead, I'm just dusting it up on my forehead. Now I'm just going to let this powder around my mouth area set a bit more. My eye, I did the Makeup Revolution London Reload Palette and I got it in these colors because I'm always drawn to like plums and greens and mustards and oranges. So to me this palette really stand out and also it reminded me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cultured Palette. And this color just spoke to me and I've used it over the weekend and I really love, love the texture, super pigmented. Um, with the MAC colors, if you're going to do like an intense eye like this, you are going to get some fallout, fallout. So I recommend doing your eye makeup before doing your face makeup. 
So to finish up the eye makeup, I was actually thinking that I wanted to be into those two purple colors right here and just smoke out the lash line. But now I'm like thinking twice whether I should just go in with the green on the outer part and like just keep it simple with like these two um, transition colors that I applied on the inner part. But let me see what am I thinking. Mm, plum plums or green greens. So now I have left all that powder set. I'm just gonna take this cute little big brush and start to glee. Just gonna start lightly dusting any powder that was left behind. From the translucent powder. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is for contouring or bronzing of my face, I'm going to go in with the Thin Lizzy 6 in 1 Professional Powder, and I received this as a gift from New Zealand. Um, and I'm using the color DH02. I've used this before and maybe I didn't really like it because it has sort of a shimmer but when I used it again on the weekend I found that it's super pigmented a little bit goes a long way and it has more of a grey undertone than actually a orange undertone so I really enjoyed using it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up my um, Zoefa 101 brush this is my face definer brush i always use this for bronzing up and i'm just gonna dip into this a little bit and dust up the excess and just just darken it up darken my contours out so guys i just went offline and i completed my eye makeup what i did firstly was i took my palette and remember I said I was confused whether I wanted to do the plum color underneath my eye or I wanted to do like the greens. Well, what I did was I applied this plum color right here. And then after that, I went in with the darker green just below that. And then for my inner tear duct, I applied my Makeup Revolution London Strobe Highlighter in Flash. Again, when I was picking this highlighter, Online, it didn't look as this uh, emerald iridescent green color. It looked more white, so I was a bit skeptical on getting this color. But when I was in the store and when I looked at it, I was like, mm, you know what? I don't have highlighters in my collection that is that color. So I went for it and I love using it as eyeshadow even like when I'm doing a very neutral toned down look for everyday use I still grab this highlighter and for the past week I've been playing around with this makeup and um, so far I'm loving it Freedom Makeup apparently and uh, Makeup Revolution is like under the same banner I don't see how that is so because I did not see Freedom Makeup in clicks maybe in the near future but you'll never know so i put the eyeshadow on my lower lash line and i took my eyeliners these are just two cheap eyeliners that i got i couldn't find a perfect green so i mixed a teal color and a green color to get this um color on my waterline and to finish up what i did was i just put some powder here to bake a little bit underneath the eye i noticed that when i was applying my eyeshadow i did get a bit of a fallout and also what happened was i saw i was creasing and i went back in with a little bit more powder whatever was left on that brush and more and i applied it to my mouth area because you know i really crease that bad there so to complete this makeup look i am going to Add blush, dip into that ever so lightly and just back and forth. Okay. 
So now that I finished the primer blush, I want to apply highlighter. And I wanted to go in with the Makeup Revolution in the flash in the stroke highlighter. But I also got myself, yes, let's just wait for the perfect timing. I got myself the Freedom Makeup Rose Gold Glow. And can we take about a minute just to admire this packaging? I mean, like, it's something that you want to keep as a display. It's something that you want to carry around. It's so beautiful. It has this nude um, packaging. And then on the front, it has like these chocolate bars which are melting down. And when you open the palette, this is what you get. Oh, I think my lighting is making it look so washed out. But it's this beautiful champagne gold highlighter as well as a rose gold highlighter now i didn't think that these highlighters were going to be like wow like glam so when i applied it the first time i was like you know what just take the brush and dip it dip them in and just like apply them and then when i applied it to my face it was like <gasps> girl she's glowing like she's glowing beyond the stars so when i use this highlight i make sure that i just hold on it and i don't just go in with my brush so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add highlighter and i'm with a 105 um highlighter brush by zoefa and i'm just gonna pick up the gold shade first and i'm gonna apply that and I'm going to see if I need to like tone down the color or maybe change it a bit because I do have a lot of green happening on the eye. So I'm just going to apply a little bit of the gold color onto my cheeks. Now can y'all see that glow? Can y'all see it? And I'm barely, barely touching the highlighter. So I just highlighted a bit of my cheeks here and do the other side I mean this is fine but I also forgot that I need to set my makeup so I would go back in with it again once I'm done setting my makeup so I'm taking a little bit more on my chin and then just a bit here on the forehead nothing too heavy because I am going to apply some setting spray just dust some on the nose on the bridge of the nose Yes, that's what I'm talking about. Highlighter on point, honey. To finish up my makeup look, I'm going to try three lipsticks that I have. I have the Avon Velvet Lipstick. I have MAC Stone and I have MAC Ruby Roo. Um, I just wanted to quickly show you guys that you can add three different look with it or you can stay neutral. So for the first lip, what I want to do is I want to line my lip. So for lining the lip, I'm going to use my Essence and Lip Liner in Going Steady. So I'm going to go in with this Avon Matte Velvet Lipstick and So this is lip one. So I'm just gonna quickly do lip two. So guys, for lip two, I wanted to go in with my MAC Stone lipstick. This is a very 
grey tone brown and I'm gonna use my Thin Lizzy uh, Duo Pencil in the dark brown and I'm gonna contour my lip so I contoured my lip in the Thin Lizzy and I'm just going to apply the color Stone and this is look two. So for lip three, I'm using Mac Ruby Roo, Ruby Who or Ruby Who, and yep, mine's is almost finished and I broke it. So and I don't apply a lot because this red is very intense. So this is lip number three. Lip number three. And uh, this is what it looks like. So guys, this is my final result. I hope you guys really enjoyed watching this video. I do apologize if I did make some mistakes along the line, but I am pretty happy and excited on how these um, makeup slash look came out. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and until we meet again don't forget to look after yourself and pamper yourself and stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys!